So if you watch my channel, you know, bane of my existence. I, I wish I could get this tripod down a little bit lower. So, so that is straight on. So let me put this down. The reason I'm showing you that, that's actually much better. The reason I'm showing you that is sometimes I'll get a shadow from above and these, these eye baggies look even worse. But I wanted to tell you, because I do get a lot of DMs and it seems like a lot of you have this problem as well, either just dark under here or like me where this right here just gets like huge, um, which I am extremely self-conscious of as you can tell because I talk about it all the time. So I wanted to tell you that I'm trying a new product. Now, as you know, if you watch my channel, this one is my favorite. And this is called, in case this is flipping, this is called MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. It's almost gone. So I've almost used the entire thing. That is why when this other product was recommended to me, I decided to go ahead and pick it up and try it. So it's called, it's made by Ren, R-E-N. Not to be confused because when I went looking for it, they kept bringing me to Ariana Grande. I don't even know who that is, but I think she's a singer or maybe Disney or something. Anyway, not that. It's a skincare line, R-E-N, and it's called Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. I will link this below if you want to try it with me. I got it at Sephora. It's a little bit pricey, so just a little bit. It's right. I'm willing to go 50 bucks to get rid of these. But this was $51, so, but I bought it. This one, the MAC eye cream, I want to say this is $39. I don't remember. But I have been using this for two days. It's supposed to make your eye, the dark circles and the bulging go away in seven days. Now, do I believe that? No. But if they are 50% telling the truth, that's a huge improvement for me. So I've been using this for two days. I'm using it at night and in the morning and you use very, very, very little. Let's see, let's do a comparison. 0.5 ounces on this one, 0.5 on this one. So it's just packaging. Um, so this one's definitely more expensive. It's thicker. When I put it on, it stays creamy, just like this one. You guys know I love this one. But if this works better, I'm all about it. So anyway, I'm gonna try this out for the next week or two and I'm gonna let you know how it does. I do have it on right now. I did just put it on and I had it on last night, which I'm gonna tell you, initial thought is it's working better, initial thought. But she, I have to consider what I ate the day before because you know, salty and things like that affects these eye bags. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna show you that. I should put the glove on. I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna do my whole hair because I don't have to work outside of my house today, so why get fancy, right? I'm not gonna get all fixed up. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Okay, so if that's it, how cute is that? That's all you do, you just wrap it and you can use whatever size wand you want and that's it, that's all you do. I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> but you, know, you guys know what I mean. So yeah, isn't that cute, that's all you do. And that was a real thin piece, but you could probably imagine from the picture I inserted that, you know, if you're doing your whole head of hair, you can do it thicker or whatever. It's really easy to work with. All right, let's fast forward and do some quick makeup. So I'm not going to do foundation at all. I'm not going to do corrector at all because I'm not going anywhere other than maybe bumming around shopping or something like that. So we're just going to do easy peasy makeup. Last night, you caught my eye So fly, oh my, oh my I've been thinking about you all night I can't get you off my mind I'm out on deep water It's too late, I've crossed the border I'm bitten hard by Cupid, babe Hurry, I need to be saved Hurry with all the cliches Clear the 
what I got. I just put away some things that I got from the freezer, which was Outshine popsicles for Kevin. He wanted some of those. And then I also got some frozen broccoli. But other than that, I didn't need a whole lot from, I ended up going to Target. So I got myself some more coffee. I was in dire need of that. They did not have my whole green beans. I am so disappointed. So I'm going to use these French style green beans. I haven't had those like really since I'm a kid. So we'll see how I do with those. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty attached to the whole green beans. And of course, I had to get my beloved Homestyle Ranch dressing. By the way, I want to show you, I also picked up, where is it? Here it is. I also picked up this one, 50 calories, 2 grams of carbohydrates, and 1 gram of protein. Same brand, avocado cilantro. Love. It is so good on tacos. I really, really like it. So kind of like the sister to this one. They're both fantastic. I think tonight for dinner, I am going to do this guacamole salsa with some chicken breast. That sounds really good to me. Now, it's a little bit, I, I think we'll be okay. The carbs are really low, two grams of carbs, no protein in this, 60 calories for two tablespoons. Now, I did, have you seen the one that is just like salsa verde and it doesn't have, you know, sort of the creamy look to it? I thought, well, maybe that one will be a little bit lower in calories because it doesn't have whatever is causing this kind of like crema. Should we look and see? I'm not sure. It's not obvious to me. Maybe the avocados are making it a little creamier. But anyway, it is not any lower. It's 10 calories lower. So a little bit, but not, I, I want this one. So we're going to have this one. So I might make that tonight. We'll see. And then I picked up some um, allergy eye drops. So I wear contacts, you know that. These are expensive, but they just, the pharmacist told me that they just went from prescription to over-the-counter, and he says they're the best. So I'm going to try these because he also told me do not ever, if you wear contacts and you have kind of like dry eyes, don't ever use like Visine for dry eyes because he said it'll make the situation 100 times worse. So 25 bucks for this, but if it works, I need it, you know. I also picked up some La Banderita Carb Counter Wraps, 45 calories and 15 grams of carbs. Now, remember how we talk about net carbs versus whole carbs? I am doing whole carbs, so I count this as 15. Some people back out the fiber, which is totally fine. You can do it either way. I'm just choosing to do whole carbs. So grab some of those. And then Kevin wanted a couple packages of his favorite potato rolls. He really likes these. Now, I like these too. The macros are not horrendous. You've got 130 calories for one bun, 23 grams of carbs. Is that a lot? Yes, but let's talk through that for a minute. Let's say you have one of these with a chicken burger, and the chicken burgers have essentially no carbs, and then you have a big thing of green beans, and maybe you have a little bit of broccoli or something like that, and then you have a nice, great big side salad. You're going to come in essentially low calorie and really only about 23, maybe 26 carbs by the time you add in maybe what salad dressing or whatever else you use. I personally, I do track the carbs in vegetables, but they're very low and I don't care because they're good for me. So you can work these in doing low carb. You can't work them in doing keto, but you can work them in low carb. All right. We need to get out of here again because now I'm going to Trader Joe's. I am back from Trader Joe's, so let me show you what I got. I got two things of fresh squeezed lemonade at the request of Kevin. It looks delicious. I'm not going to drink my calories, but 120 calories for eight ounces. There's some pretty high carbs, very high sugar. That's not for me. I got a broccoli and cauliflower gratin. This sounds amazing. 130 calories for a serving. There's four servings per container. Eight carbs and six grams of protein. Excited about that. I got some Colby Jack cheese sticks. Now, here's the thing. 
my cheese sticks. I think it's the Sargento ones that I eat. The reduced fat ones are 80 calories. This one is 90. So to me, maybe I'll just do the full fat. We'll see how I like it. I picked up some chicken. Remember I said I was going to do some um, chicken, salsa chicken tonight. I think I'm going to do it tonight. I'm not sure. I'll do it this week for sure. I also picked up these organic veggie bites. I've never tried these before. Have you ever tried these? I think these sound really delicious. You get six of them for 180 calories. And let's see here, 22 grams of carbs. That's a little bit high. And four protein. It's kind of a lot of bit high. But see, I can take that for lunch because again, low carb, not keto. I picked up my, one of my favorite cheeses, the Trader Joe's light cheese, 80 calories on that. And then this is for Kevin. He likes this pepper salami. I don't really like this, but this is probably perfectly fine in my diet plan. 90 calories for one ounce, two grams of carbs, and six grams of protein. I got two packets of carrots. Now, carrots are high in carbs, but they're low in calories. I don't worry about vegetables. I say that all the time. I do track the vegetables simply for the purpose of data and accuracy, but I don't care about vegetables. Sriracha baked tofu sounded delicious. Is it going to be? I don't know. So I'm going to try this and see what I think of it. It's a little bit high in calories, 170 calories for one square, which the squares are pretty big. So I hope I like it. I don't know. Um, let's see, five grams of carbs, 17 grams of protein. See, if I like it, this could be a good one, but we'll see. Now, I always like to pick up something that is like prepackaged in case I need it that I've never tried before with Trader Joe's. So Italian style, style turkey meatloaf sounded pretty good. A quarter package is 330 calories. 15 grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein. So this could be like a good dinner for me, portioning that out. This is also new. Almond butter almonds, roasted salted almonds covered in sweetened almond butter. Oh no, my gosh. Sounds so good. A quarter cup is 170 calories, 11 grams of carbs. There is some sugar in there. And let's see, five grams of protein. I also picked up, I had to restock on my Bear Bells. So I got a bunch of the cookies and cream and the hazel and nougat. So they're all, this one's 220. The hazel and nougat is 220 calories. 27 grams of carbs. See, that's high. So I have to do this in moderation, but this replaces a meal for me usually. This is a grab and run out the door meal for me. I do it on occasion. I can't do it all the time. 15 grams of protein. And then the cookies and cream is one of my favorites. 200 calories, 20 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein. And then this is for Kevin. This is the Pirate's Booty knockoff. He actually likes this better than Pirate's Booty. 140 calories for one ounce, which is a lot. And a lot meaning you get a lot for it. 53 pieces, it says. 20 grams of carbs and 2 grams of protein. I won't eat this, but Kevin loves it. And then I also picked up a couple crisp, honey crisp apple candles. These smell amazing. I can smell these candles literally through this container. These smell so good. So that is it. I've spent the entire day shopping. I'm going to get cooking. So I will see you very soon for another video.